Hi, this is Andy of Andy's Personal Development and we are currently live in the breakout room. So, welcome and welcome and we love being here for you with quality and value to inspire and to transform. Remember, we are on Apple, Spotify, Google, Amazon and iTunes. Today, as usual, we have a special guest to share with you for your development and growth and to live your better informed life. So, grab a cup, pull up a seat and stay tuned for the introduction right here now, live in the breakout room. It's the place for health, happiness and prosperity. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Andy of Andy's Personal Development and this is a special recording that I really want to share with you guys because of my love and my commitment to doing that which I believe God has blessed me and destined for me to do and that is to be your partner, to hold your hand, to walk with you to places that you need to go so that you can discover a better life for yourself, have that experience that you can share and know that you can create the right opportunities for health, happiness, and prosperity in your lives. What I'm sharing with you is something that I taped while sitting in my vehicle waiting for my wife to complete a meeting. And the inspiration came and I decided, you know what, on the spot I'm just going to record it um, as an audio file and then later see what I can do with it, what, 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 you know, what can happen with it. We are just getting on to one year in Andy's personal development and I never thought that I would have stayed for a year because of so many challenges that I would have faced. Um, there were days and times when I felt like, my goodness, am I really going to do this? Am I really cut out for this? There was a time when I couldn't find people to interview and I didn't know what to do. But I kept searching, I kept asking questions, I kept knocking on doors, and I found the answers, and I continued. Why is it important for me to share all this with you? Because simply what I'm going to share is based on the word procrastination. That monster that keeps us putting things off until tomorrow, or the next day, or the day after, or for what we perceive sometimes to be a better time, a greater moment. No more procrastination. Procrastinate no more. Call it what you like. It's about that monster that has caused so many dreams to go awry and not become a reality. I just want to share it with you. And I hope that the way I have been inspired to record it, to tape it, because of the realities of so many things I have experienced in my life, I hope that it inspires you to do so much better than you can because you are better than where you are right now. It's just a matter of time before you get. There's always room for improvement, always room for us to grow, to develop, to increase, to become more. And when we become more, we give more or we are in a position, a better position to give more of ourselves to the world. But it starts with a decision, it starts with a mindset that says, you know what, I can be more than I am right now and there are things that I can do to invest in me so that I can become more and as a result, the world is going to be a better place as I share what I have become with other people and they see it and it rubs off from them and they can gravitate it and relate it and we can all have more value in our lives. So I'm talking on and on. Um, <laughs> let's just get to the tape, all right? So uh, stand by for this recording. I hope it really, really makes a difference in your life. No more procrastination. Stand by, people. How many times have you heard this? Either you said it to yourself or friends of yours, family members, co-workers, people that you involve with socially, have said it. 
Ah, I'll do it tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe the next day. And uh, give it some time. It's it's going to be all right. We'll take care of it whenever. Stuff like that. How often have you heard people say that? When in the moment, what they are supposed to do is seize the advantage. Seize the opportunity and say to themselves, If I can get it done today, why wait until tomorrow? Procrastination is a monster. It's a disease that eats away at the core of our level of consciousness because it makes us believe that the possibilities of what we want to accomplish are not available until some other time. When all we have to do is seize the moment that we are in and make it count. But we put it off. Because sometimes we think that the conditions maybe are not right enough. Maybe we should wait until things get better. If you're going to start something, start right where you are. Start with what you have. The journey does not begin until it begins. Start now. Why wait when you can do it now? Why wait when you can begin now? Why wait when now is the most important and invaluable moment of your life? Why wait? If you had a concrete guarantee of tomorrow, something that is written in stone somewhere and locked away in a vault in a safety deposit box, fine. I get it. Don't do it. Put it off. Delay it. Deny it its opportunity for birth. But if you don't have that, and I don't believe that you do, why wait? Consider this for a moment. Consider that the man who was accredited with the invention of the light bulb, what about if he had waited and decided, I'm not going to try a thousand times. I'm going to wait until the conditions are perfect. I'm going to wait until the conditions are right. And we stay in darkness. What about the man who invented the telephone? He could have said, well, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to make an effort. I'm not going to do something that has never been done before. I am simply going to wait until I think I can do it. And we would have been trying to figure out what is happening to each other on the other side of the world. Think about that for a moment and think about the many times that we have had the opportunity to do something, to make things right, to make things better. An idea that was waiting to give birth to itself, that was waiting to be born. And you had the opportunity to just start, just begin, just make it happen. But you were waiting because you believe that the circumstances were not right or that it was not the right time or that you did not have enough resources. You just did not start. You procrastinated. And the moment you do that, the opportunity is gone. It's lost. And it can no longer be regained. Time does not stand still and wait for us to be ready. Time is always moving. And so if you understand the dynamics of that and we begin to embrace it and apply it to our lives in the fullness of its meaning, we'd realize that when something is before us, when that opportunity is presented to us and we have it before us and it's in our power, in our destiny to do something, we need to embrace it, we need to address it, we need to arrest it and we need to make it happen now, not tomorrow, now. This is the time of all times that matters the most. Today, this moment. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to anyone. But we do that. 
And sometimes we don't realize that by waiting for a bridge to be built where there is none, we not only do a disservice to ourselves, but we do a disservice to the people that we care about the most. You see, sometimes the opportunity could be for the betterment of those who are around us, not necessarily for ourselves. But we are so caught up in ourselves sometimes that we seem to think, you know what? If I don't get it done today, it's no big deal. I can always do it tomorrow. It's always about tomorrow. That's a song we just keep singing all the time. And we lose out. We miss out. And we create a disadvantage where we should have had an advantage. We are not even being fair to ourselves. Furthermore, to be fair to others. I want you to think about an NBA game that is happening. And the player that is given the ball to shoot what could possibly be the last shot to win the game. If in that player's mind, he should say, you know what? Maybe I can make this shot, but I don't know. And he doesn't make the shot. And he has 0.3 seconds to go. The possibility that they can lose the game looms large in his head. But because he simply lacks the confidence to believe that he should take the shot, he does not take it. And in that moment, the buzz of songs and the time is past. And he suddenly realizes, if I had only taken the shot, then I give myself the possibility of winning the game for my team. But because I lacked the confidence to believe I could make the shot, I did not take the shot. And now he doesn't know because he never took the shot. We end up in situations like that sometimes. We never knew because we never took the shot when we had the moment, the opportunity, the chance to take the shot. If it's in front of you, if it's before you, if it's available, take the shot. You will only know the outcome after you have taken the shot, but take the shot. That is what matters the most. There are many opportunities that we have thrown under the bus because of procrastination. There are many people who are lying in the graveyard that have taken billions of worth of ideas and dreams and goals and aspirations before them, buried six feet under because they did not take the shot. They lacked the confidence to believe, even though they had a slim chance that they could make the shot. Sometimes all you need is just that simple, slight window of opportunity. Even though it is just 0.3 seconds, it's enough to size it up, look at it, and let it go. But if we don't exercise the opportunity given to us in that moment, we could lose so much. And that is why the thing about that opportunity is that we have to recognize how priceless and how precious it is. And if we can do that and in that moment seize the importance of taking that shot, we know then that that decision, that choice could make the biggest difference in our lives. A colleague of mine once said that sometimes in life we are waiting for someone to build bridges over the canyons that exist. And we do that because we don't realize or recognize that within us lays the ability to develop and grow wings and fly over the canyons of our lives. 
And the reason why that does not happen is because we leave it until tomorrow. We leave it until things in our perception, false as it may be, gets better. But what about the moment that you are in now? What about this time? If the opportunity is there, don't let it pass you by. You do not know if you will be able to get it again. There are many people who would have started projects and did not complete the project because they felt that maybe I will not at the end of this have the original picture that I started with in my mind and so they leave it undone for other things because they tell themselves I just can't finish it for whatever reason sometimes they are discouraged because Working to achieve that goal and, and to accomplish that thing that is before them may appear to be so hard, so tough. That you're saying to yourself, you know what? I'm going to wait until I get help. I'm going to wait until I get more resources. But I need to stop. It's a good thing sometimes to, in retrospect, stop and take a look. Make an assessment of where you are and see what is necessary. But don't stop the project all entirely and not have a specific plan in mind as to how you're going to complete it. Because once it has begun, then it deserves to be completed. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, A journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. It also ends with one as well. If you took 999 steps, you did not complete 1,000 steps. And therefore, why did you put all that effort and time and resources into making 999 and you just couldn't make that one more to complete that journey? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't add up. The expanse of energy and the expense of resources, you have to place value on those things because those are precious commodities. It belonged to you. It came from somewhere. How did you acquire it in the first place? And so when you do that, you are negating your opportunity to make an investment that can give you some level of return. It doesn't make sense. So think about it this way. I've already begun, I have started, and I may be halfway there or three-quarter way there, or maybe it's just quarter of the project, and then you stop and, and you decide, you know what, I can't do this anymore. But think about the consequence of losing out on what you have already invested. Is it going to be worth it? You may say, well, I've run out of resources. I need help. Okay, fine. So what do you do? You reach out. But you reach out with an intent and a purpose to finish. And therefore, what you need to do is come up with a plan. For goodness sake, come up with a plan. Come up with a strategy. Think about something. Think about a way in which you can practically finish what you have begun. But don't give it up. Don't wait until. Until is not promise to anyone. Now, today, this moment is what matters. I have looked at some of the most successful sports personalities of our times and I'm thinking about Usain Bolt as an example and he was interviewed by a journalist about the levels of success that he would have had for a period of about eight years or so and a question was posed to Usain Bolt the question was simply this in an age where you have some of the greatest sprinters that we have ever seen, the likes of just 
Gatlin, Tyson Gay, Asafa Powell, Jocelyn Gatlin, that's the name I'm looking for. Asafa Powell, Tyson Gay. Those men were tremendous sprinters, unbeaten on their best days. How is it you saying that you can beat these men consistently at the right time when it mattered the most in the biggest stage on the biggest occasions even though they were at their best you seem to be always one or two steps better than they were and he said when i go to train and they tell me do a hundred i do a hundred and ten he said, my expectations of myself are always more than the expectations of the people that are responsible for helping me prepare for my competition. And so when I get on the track and it's the big day with the big race and I realize that it matters the most, I take what I did in training and I bring it to the track with me. I don't focus on the competition. They do not matter. I focus on what I need to do to remain at my very best. Can we do that for ourselves, for our lives, for the things that matters the most to us, for the projects that we have been putting off, that we have laid aside, that we have procrastinated about, that we have left for tomorrow for a better day, a better time with greater conditions, when all we have to do is say, you know what, I can do even more than is expected of me because that is necessary for me to complete what I have begun. I am placing tremendous value on what I've invested thus far and I need to capitalize on what I've already done. I will finish it at all costs. That is what it takes to succeed. That is what it takes to be a winner. That is what it takes to be better than where you are now. Think about it this way. How about making the people that you idolize at some point in time to be now the people that you are competing with or against? You see, it is no longer about emulation, but it's about creating your own levels of success for yourself. It is no longer about walking in the shoes and copying what someone else has done. It's about setting and blazing new trails for yourself. Eventually that you would leave for others to follow as well, if they so choose, but for you, as far as you are concerned, you don't only just want to compete, but you want to be relevant. You don't want to be just the best in the world, but you want to be the best for the world. Big difference. And so that level of relevance that you seek, that you know is invaluable to your existence, to your career, to your life, to the people that mean something to you, is the thing that you have to invest in the most. If it means doing an extracurricular activity where you have to spend more time on making yourself better, do it. If you want more respect, respect yourself more. If you want more support, support yourself more. If you want more admiration, admire yourself more more whatever you desire for yourself from others desire it more from you first set the standards and then make the demands for the standards to come back at you because you are the one that is responsible for producing the seed that will later on give you the fruit that you desire to reap and it takes a tremendous amount of effort. It takes a tremendous amount of discipline. It takes a tremendous amount of heart and courage and commitment. But what you will gain as a result will be worth it. 
You see, you are beginning to create a legacy for your life that someone later on would learn from as a result. And so the more valuable the lesson is to you is the more valuable that lesson will be to others who will decide later on that they can use that as a motto, as an example of things that they need to do in their lives to succeed and not wait until tomorrow. At times that you may have experienced losses in your life can leave scars on the inside. And if you don't allow yourself the opportunity to heal, it can probably give you a sense of feeling that you are less valuable than you really are. That feeling is not a healthy feeling. We have had the opportunity to evaluate ourselves, evaluate our lives, our progress. And sometimes we see more losses in the column of loss than wins in the column of success. But that does not mean that we determine our future based on that. That is just data. What we need to do is to create the opportunity for our minds to focus on what we need to do now to succeed and to continue to succeed tomorrow. I know that you have heard this before, but the question is, has it sunk in into your subconscious? And are there trigger moments when you know that you are inspired, that no one needs to remind you, you would just get up and get it done because it is necessary for your survival and for your success. You don't need somebody telling you this is what you need to do and do it now. You know you need to do it. What is the thing that inspires you the most to get it done today when today matters now? What is your big why that gets you up in the morning, keeps you going through the day and keeps you up at night because you just want to see it become a reality. You need to see the tangible evidence of its existence and you are prepared to go the extra mile, the distance to see it happen, to see it become a reality, to see the vision become alive. What is the big why for you? Because if that why is valuable enough, then procrastination would not be something that you have to deal with. You would rather deal with the why. The why is going to take preeminence. The why is going to be the thing of priority. The why is going to be the thing that says you need to get up and get it done. The why is going to tell you, hey, this is the moment for you to shine, shine. You are on center stage and it's no time to rehearse. You have to produce. And whatever it takes to get it done, you have to be prepared to make that investment, that leap of faith in yourself. Another Chinese proverb says that the birds that sit in the branches of the trees do not have their fate invested in the branch to uphold them, but rather their belief lies in the ability of their wings. And so what that simply means is it does not matter what the conditions are, whether they are favorable or unfavorable, you are going to have the ability to believe in what you are blessed with to do that you can accomplish whatever you set your mind to do because your faith gives you the strength to go to the next level and accomplish what you once had as a dream. You can make anything a reality, not just based on your belief, but based on your commitment and your willingness to create a reality that you know is waiting to be given birth and to become alive. 
because you have given it your best. That is what matters. And so, while we are faced with the challenges of life on a daily basis, what we have to come to terms with is that the reality of our existence and tomorrow are not things that are compatible. Tomorrow is something that is waiting to happen but is not yet real. Today is the reality. Today is what matters. Today is what we have before us. Why wait when we could get it done in the moment that we are? Procrastination does not belong. Let's get it done. And let's get it done now. <laughs>